We're Incubite and you're watching Resistance TV. Fuck yeah! Hi, this is Resistance 2014 and I'm here with Neil, Alex and Jonas from Incubite who've just come off stage about 20 minutes ago. Yeah, guys, so opening up Resistance for the fourth year of the show. Well, obviously you're not opening it for four years, but uh, how does it feel to be the uh, kick kickstart in this year's show? Uh, it feels great. We were a bit afraid that nobody's there or something, but uh, it doesn't. It uh, didn't feel like a. Uh, I was opening. at the front. I saw the dance floor full from the word getting. Yeah, it must yeah. feel really good. It you was know, fucking like... awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so are you going to be here all weekend? You staying for the weekend? No, no. We yeah. have to leave tomorrow because I have a show with uh, my other bench timer on no. Sunday. So tonight, who else are you looking forward to seeing? Sorry. Which band are you looking forward to seeing tonight? Ah, uh, I, I, I want to see Modulate. Yeah, Jeff's guys are awesome. We I want really to want to. I really <laughs> want to see um, uh, Straftanz because um, we know that guys. We uh, got in touch with them uh, on the flight. Yeah, and they yeah. called. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, and they are living in the same city like me. So. Um, so if you're traveling away tomorrow to with your other, your other, uh, other, other band. Flying around, playing gigs back to back, have you got any survival tips for people who might have to do that themselves? How do you keep yourself going? Uh, if you uh, only have uh, four or three hours left to sleep, uh, stay oh. awake. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you guys that announced actually um, Incubite are, are going to be no more. Yeah. Um, and um, so is this, you, you, before, when you decided you already had a couple of gigs lined up, is this, was this tonight, was tonight the last chance to see Incubite live? Yes. Yeah. It was the last chance, it was the last show, and it was uh, the best show we yeah. ever played. If you couldn't be here to see it tonight, you missed out. Yeah. Good. Oh, I thought I was you really yours. missed it, yeah. Oh, you've, described, uh, you've described Incubite in the past as fun music, yeah. um, and with your last album, as it, um, Collision Course, was a, uh, influenced by 80s and uh, new metal. Yeah. Um, hypothetically, what direction would Incubite have followed if it had carried on? Uh, if it was carried on, I think it uh, would be still electronic but uh, we would um, produce in more high quality and um, put in influences from dubstep and drum and bass. We had some uh, some songs uh, we uh, did for a new album and uh, it, yeah, it would sound a bit like Third Well or Blue Star yeah. or something. Uh, that's the music we really like and uh, we want to do, want to do and uh, it would be the idea if we continued, but we don't. <laughs> um, last year you played WGT in Germany, yeah. and uh, obviously that's a huge show. In, in the UK, industrial festivals, you only get around about 1,000 to 2,000 people tops. Yeah. Um, now, do you prefer playing the huge festival shows, or do you like small intimate gigs with maybe like, 300 people, where you can sort of like see more of the audience? Or yeah. What's your favourite? Uh, it depends on the people. Yeah. Um, yeah. If, if you play club shows with 300 people who are all drunk and happy, and it's uh, it's uh, quite more good than a uh, festival show with 2,000 people who are just staying there and staring yeah. and don't move and like yeah, it's, yeah it's not uh, engaging with them. Yeah, if, yeah, if, if you feel if you feel uh, near to the people, if you're near to the people, it's uh, it's a special feeling. And the festival with uh, 20,000 people, I, I played with Stammann and Backen last year. And uh, yeah, they are. The distance from you, from the stage to the crowd, is about twenty meters. Yeah. I mean, as we said, looking this morning, today, sorry, this morning, this afternoon, when you started off, and the connection there was, was there straight away. I saw guys like really getting into it, and like yeah. you know, and they they've got to be sober at this point in the afternoon as well. It's not like <laughs> they're going, oh, I'm drunk, I'll have a dance. You can see people just like there wasn't that gap between you and the, no one standing back going. Mm, it was kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they were yeah. singing along and yeah. I enjoyed it, of course. And it was a fucking great audience. Yeah. And it was the very first time that uh, people were really know the lyrics or yeah. samples of our songs and, and you, singing. You had a lot of crowd participation. You go, when I hit this kick drum, I want to go, hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was no, cool. I oh, love that. And when yeah. Sean and I are in a band and we have like, well, when we say hey, you say hey, fuck, sort of stuff. And we <laughs> kind of like that kind of, just making it all part of like, you're all doing the, sh the song together. Yeah, you know? yeah it's, it's very important to, uh, to work with the crowd and not for the crowd. Uh, they want, uh, they pay money and they want to uh, have fun. And so you have to, yeah, you have to work with them. You have to uh, talk to the people and uh, 
Oh. Oh. Yeah, like include Schmeckt. them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like include them to your show, so you, yeah. the people feel like uh, they're a part, part of the, the show and not yeah. just audience and staring at the yeah. band. So they're part of the show and can yeah, enjoy it. And uh, yeah. I think that definitely came across. You can yeah. really feel that, you know. Okay, so guys, um, I listen to fairly like eclectic, weird taste in music. I like all sorts of things from country to kind of like metal. But if I got your MP3 player and put it on random shuffle, like what sort of songs would I be listening to? To be honest, a mix of techno, dubstep, metal, hardcore, punk. I don't know. It's what a lot of. Any uh, favorite artists at the moment? Um, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Incubate. No. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, mm -hmm. I uh, like Motley Crue, for example, or Guns N' Roses, that stuff. Uh, but at the other end, uh, some dubstep artists, or I don't know. Yeah. It depends on my. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, um, uh, yeah. Uh, it's glam rock. Mostly, uh, but I'm also into uh, German hip hop, like Kollega, <laughs> uh, and, and well, a lot of uh, other things. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of genres, really um, bands, and but uh, yeah, I'm mostly into glam rock or 80s sleaze rock. Yeah. yeah, for me it would be a lot of metalcore, um, something like Heaven Soul Burn or. Um, yeah. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. <laughs> Justin Bieber. I, I think the best musicians listen to a lot of different stuff across yeah, the world. Right? I know some guys and they just listen to industrial and they make industrial. And I'm going like, don't get bored. You know, don't you want to like hear these and then put a little bit of like say let's say I like sort of like eighties kind of US hardcore like Huskadoo and things like that. Yeah. And like my my guitar style and my band is quite punky as opposed to, you know, like what you get in a lot of bands. Yeah. And I think you have to mix it up. You have to like yeah. take and some people are open minded and listen yeah. to a lot of different kinds of music so they can yeah I think it's uh, it's good for making music because you have a lot of influences and can take the best parts of the different yeah. Uh, yeah. Art, uh, the different bands and different uh, directions of music yeah. and the big so. difference is uh, that there are some music musicians which are working for a scene which mm -hmm. are in this scene and there are musicians who are working in general for music yeah, so like you're like not closed-minded, you listen to pop, you listen to metal or uh, 80s rock I or might something. have to steal that sentiment when I talk to people at parties and things, because I think yeah. that actually sums it up really well. Yeah. yeah. And if you could um, give us a message for the people watching Resistance TV on YouTube. If you yeah, the people on, on, on Resistance Festival were very nice, very great. We, very in, we really enjoyed the show. and. Um, we would suggest to everyone come to the next Resistance Festival if you're not here tonight and yeah.